Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to be talking today about an interesting way of playing the game of life that I do. Uh, it goes to my last video I made. My last video I made, I find a balloon. Hi, if I can hear a train. <laughs> That's a great example. I just said hi to the train. Did you see? Did you catch me? If you watch some of my videos uh, throughout my YouTube series, you'll notice that like a psychotic fuck, I talk to objects in cars that honk and things. Like the car will honk and I'll say, thank you, car. I'll, I do that. And, you know, nobody's ever called me out on it, but I'm here to talk about why I do that. Um, I will mention if you're into astrology or not, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but truth is, I am a Taurus Sun, Taurus Mercury, Taurus and Venus, Mars and Virgo, North Node and Virgo, Capricorn and Neptune. I got a lot of Earth placement, a lot of Earth placement. And it plays out in my reality to where since that's really the energy I'm, you know, vibing with, the material realm, uh, I have fun. And also my sun, Mercury, and Venus are all in the 10th house, Capricorn. Lots of Earth energy. And so most of my spiritual um, knowledge comes from the material realm. Everything is an indicator of what you're vibrating. Some signs are better at just picking up on the vibe the individual is putting out. Other people are better at picking up on the material world outside of them. You know, they all work in their own ways. You know, some people have deep intuition. They don't even have to be in the same room. Uh, you know, I'm the kind of person that, like, when I meet you, I can, like, just look around. And I can see the flow of cars and things that are happening, and I, it gives me a big indicator of what's going on in your world. Uh, you know, you can walk into a meth head's house. The, the way a house is in a meth head's life is a reflection on what they're vibrating. Like, even the way it's set up, the trash, the objects, the, you know, they'll have a, there's an indicator. They're indicators. Everything around you is an indicator of vibrating. Anyway, uh, so the other day I was walking down the street in a balloon, like a person, like an animal, like like a living thing. Like said hi, because <laughs> I, because I say hi. You understand? I'm I'm talking to myself. That's really my higher self. You know, there's a video of Jim Carrey. He's a Capricorn. He's an Earth sign. There's a video of Jim Carrey talking about how he is this cup. You can watch it. There's a video where he talks about how he's this desk. He's this cup. It's not just limited to the body as he used to think. And that's very true. You are you're an entire, your entire environment. Uh, and, you know, we can get into the topics of, well, people create their own realities and, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, but – at the end of the day, it all comes from source. You are communicating with yourself through your environment. Your environment is an indicator of what you're vibrating. So anyway, I say hi to things. I do. I say hi to trees. Well, those are alive. But I say hi to like a bell game, like you stupid shit, <laughs> anything. And it's in cars and all kinds of stuff. And it plays out to where it's like it talks back. Because you can play the game of life any way you want. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and bring itself to believe it can achieve. I, and I sit there and I put vibe like I'm talking to him. And, you know, today was attack of the fucking bags. <laughs> you sure to God, a couple, only a couple hours ago, I was getting in my car and the wind picked up and a bag hit me on my foot. It's, uh, it was this one. This bag landed on my foot. I was like, ah! <laughs> I was like, it's attacking me! <laughs> it was like, it's just biting me, get off! And it all, like, for, I saw like seven bags. It was so cool. And, like, everywhere I went, there was a bag. There was a bag here, a bag block in the street. I went to Wendy's, Wendy, Wendy, anyway, and the wind blew in through the window and blew the fucking bag out of the dude's hand. <laughs> Honorary little bag. <laughs> I was like, that's a, that's an honorary little bag. <laughs> you know, like it was so cool. I was driving. I just did a big delivery all the way in Denver. There was a gigantic bag, like a, like a brown paper bag that was like ten feet long. I don't know. I guess something that you use to wrap something with. Just in the middle of the street. I was like, nice try. <laughs> I was like, nice try, bitch. Me, <laughs> get me. <laughs> Everywhere I went, there was bags. Hang on. I'm going to show you one more. I'm going to show you another bag. This is the last bag that just happened. Let me drive. 
I hope Siri don't be like, why is that guy driving with lights on? Anyway, uh, but yeah, so like, everywhere I went, bags, bags, hang on, I don't know what this fucking thing is bringing, bags, bags, it's gone, the, is the bag gone, the bag ain't gone, no, no, come on, <laughs> it's alive, it's alive, alright, so, here's the last one, I don't know what you can see, but I was driving this way, I can't roll my window down, but I was driving this way, and there's a bag in the car block in the street. <laughs> there was a bag. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. You see it? <laughs> I know it sounds so stupid, but whatever vibe you put out comes back by law. It's a law of the universe. And it was just so funny how every fucking where I went, <laughs> I was laughing so hard. And then it, it was the finale. That was the finale, which is I'm time to park where I park. I'm, you know, every night I sleep here, and there's one bag. <laughs> one bag in a Walmart cart blocking me. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> how dare you? <laughs> how dare you challenge me? Oh, <laughs> that's what I was saying. It was so cool. Holy fuck! It was a great day. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I just wanted to share that something about you know you can live your life any way you want, but the foundation that you create your own reality with your thoughts, aka what you're thinking about, but mostly the vibe you're putting out, is very important. And. Uh, you know, for me, I don't know why it developed that way. Like I said, I got all those earth placements in my astrology, so it kind of makes sense. You know, I earth magic is a real magic that I learned. I remember um, there was this guy who I, he actually taught me it. I'm not going to tell his name because, you know, he might, you know. But um, actually, I will say his name. Fuck it. His name's Yazer. <clears throat> and uh, I knew this guy named Yazer, and he was a uh, Cancer Sun Taurus Moon Virgo Rising or some combination of the, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. And that's dense energy. It's denser materials, uh, you know, earth and some water. And I remember we would sit there, we get high on tweak, you know, but meth affects, you know, like I said, objects, right? Like if you look at a drug addict, you can see the objects in their world around them manifest based upon their output, you know, a heroin addict's house looks different than a meth head's house or a pothead's house. They look different. Same with an alcoholic. They all look different. And the drastic change in the vibration of the person is the drastic change in their environment. And meth heads are a great example. I have so many stories. And the, actually, that guy taught me the best thing about it, which was – I know kind of go whatever. Uh, which was he was able to look and see stories. Stories. It Like he could look at like you know trash – on the ground and be like, that's my friend. And she's cheating on, um, her husband. See, and see how the ketchup bottles around the corner with the, the mustard packet. And like, it sounds crazy, but I remember he showed me how he made his reality. And I was like, no way. And later in life, I mastered that to where I can walk up and meet people and I could look over at objects on the, like tarot same thing with tarot. You shuffle cards. It tells you I could do tarot readings off of objects on the ground, like rocks in certain places. And I could learn information through the indicator of what you're vibrating, which is on the ground. Anyway, uh, now I have fun with it. Like today, attack of the bags. <laughs> it's, a, it's attack of the bags. Everywhere I go, a bag got me in the shoes. Like, get off me. <laughs> Everywhere I went, there was bags. And like I said, that last one where there was just, it's all it is. It's a bag and a cart blocking my road. It's just like, no way. No. <laughs> and how does it make me feel fucking awesome? It's so funny. I love it. Like, I'm alone in life. I don't hang out. Okay, the best life. <laughs> best life. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah, I've learned a lot of cool things. That was one of them was being able to read information. That was when I first learned how to read information to it. But at, at that time, because I was on drugs, uh, my ability to have happy thoughts about it was kind of low. And so I was reading information. It was more like serious, you know, instead of it being playful. Now it's playful. You know, I have fun with myself, uh, you know, 
for the things that I see and the places I go. Like the fact that the wind blew the bag out of the dude's hand when he was giving me my order. It's like, <laughs> it's a tech of the bag. <laughs> the bag's having problems today with people. <laughs> Everywhere I go, bag's having problems. <laughs> It's so cool. All right. I don't know why I had to make this video. I really just wanted to express uh, express that. Uh, it's really cool. Like I said, you can play the game of life any way you want. Uh, and for me, yeah, I say hi to things. Like, hi, Rock. Like that boulder over there. There's a boulder over there. <laughs> say hi to it. <laughs> You'd be like, why? It sounds so stupid. Uh, and, you know, due to programming in schools and stuff, I understand it's hard to break free from the um, the programming. Uh, but when you understand, like I said, you create your own reality and whatever you put out comes back, you can have fun with it. And life becomes fun. Like it literally played out today. I got to keep saying it. It was attack of the bags <laughs> everywhere I went. And there was a lot more bag stories. You have no idea. Like I was driving on the interstate, and there was a, and it was like this kind of bag. It was brown bags and normal bags. It was one of these kind of bags, and this one was also huge. And it was um, attached to the, uh, the uh, like this metal siding, like the bumper rail. And I was in the lane, and it was like, Ooh, I was like, no. <laughs> It was like, let me grab your car. I was like, no. <laughs> no, bad bag. <laughs> bad bag, bad bag. <laughs> no. <laughs> Swerve. <laughs> and I'm driving, and then there's the brown paper bag in the middle of the street. I'm like, nice drive. <laughs> Everywhere I go. <laughs> Tack of the bags. <laughs> I'm going to end this video. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>